Hello everybody and welcome to this week in figure skating for the week of August 1st through 7th. Yes, we have only one month of actual summer to go. And this last week saw the release of not one, but two Junior Grand Prix rosters. Early in the week came the first for the Volvo Cup in Riga, Latvia, taking place the first weekend in September. There are 23 men entered, but it's not the strongest field. The favorite will pretty much be Russian Gordy Gorshkov, who's medaled at three events but never won, made the Junior Grand Prix finale last year, but finished last. Canada will be sending their junior champion sensation Nam Nugian to make his international debut, and China will throw in Jiaxing Wu, who's shown the ability to top five at Junior Grand Prix events before, but there's really not much else. With the 34 ladies, there are a few more skaters of interest, including Zi Jun Lee, who won bronze at last year's finale, Yasmin Siraj, who finished seventh, Miyabi Oda, who wasn't on the circuit last year, but was 8th at Junior Worlds, and of course the two Polinas. She'll have been 5th at the finale, and Ayaka Panova, 3rd and 4th at her events last year, but not in the finale. This is one of the four pairs events, with 14 pairs entered, and that includes Wei Jing Sui and Kong Han, so they'll win. And teammates Aya Yu and Yang Jin are likely for silver. Of the three Russian teams, the most notable is Ekaterina Pekatina and Maxim Kurdikov, who were 5th at their only event last year. There's also a pair of Czechs who were seventh at Europeans. There are 18 couples in the dance event, and the favorites are Evgenia Kosagina and Nikolai Moroshkin, who won an event last year and were sixth in the finale. But there's a matter also of Adrian Poulain and Marc-Andre Servan from Canada, fourth at their only Junior Grand Prix event last year, and Ukrainians Maria Nosola and Evge Nikola Nuik, fifth at one event last year, but tenth at another. Also on the roster are 2010 Novice Champions and the sensations of Lake Placid this year, Alexander Aldridge and Daniel Eaton. On Sunday came the roster for the Junior Grand Prix Brisbane in Australia, which is being ignored by any European federations because of its distance. Nonetheless, they have 19 men, including Japanese man Keiji Tanaka, silver medalist from last year's Junior World, so you think he'll be the favorite, but he actually does have some good competition in the form of Liam Fyrus, third and fifth at his two events last year, and Jason Brown, who was second, and then sixth. 25 ladies, and the favorite is again Japanese, Risa Soji, who came within a hundredth of a bronze of the finale last year, but one must also consider Vanessa Lamb, who won the only event she was in, and Courtney Hicks, who wasn't on the circuit, but was sixth at Junior Worlds. And another former medalist from Sweden, Isabel Olsen, will also be here. As, by the way, will Olympic veteran Chelsea Lee, it being Australia. There are only nine dice dance teams, including Nicole Orford and Thomas Williams, with a bronze and a top 10 finish at Junior Worlds last year, Russia seems to be sending its B team to this easier field. The one with the, the two with Junior Grand Prix experience is Valeria Zenkova and Valerie Sinitsin, who only have one bronze to their name from the circuit. While the U.S. likewise sends last year's novice champions Madeline Heritage and Nathaniel Fast, with Lori Bornikowski and Travis Mager, who with two bronzes and 11th place finish at Junior Worlds last year, are the most successful team here after the Canadians. Canada has already moved on, though. They're now sorting out the assignments for Poland and notifying the skaters. Kate Charbonneau tweeted that she would be there. Korea made things more official with the Junior Test Skate for men and ladies, though a few days too late to use the ladies' birth date actually been allocated in Latvia. Hai Jin Kim won the ladies, doing a triple flip, triple loop combination, though in the free, the loop got downgraded and she is duly assigned to Australia. She and second place pick skater Su Young Park, who had an ankle injury, will get two Junior Grand Prix events, and third place Ho Jung Lee will get one. Dong Wang Lee won the men's event, and says he wants to medal on the series, make the finale, and qualify for the Youth Winter Games in Austria this January. He's assigned to the relatively small field of Australia, so he's now without a chance of medaling there. On the senior side of things, with the full procedures published, the alterations have started. Madison Hubble and Zachary Donahue get the first empty spot at Skate America, though it may be provisional, pending them getting the score in the fall. Italy, on the other hand, concerned itself with the lower level, releasing the fall assignments this week to all the senior Bs. Worth noting is Carolina Costner, unusually, isn't doing anything, but of course she's doing three Grand Prix. To Nebelhorn, Italy will instead send Francesca Rita and Roberto Rodighiero with Stefania Burton and Andre Tatarik. To the Andre Napoli Memorial, they send Rodigero with Alice Galezzi, Burton Hotarik with the other pair on their roster, Carolina Gillespie and Luca DeMate, and Samuel Contesti with Paul Parkinson, and Lorenza Alessandrini and Simon Vetturi. Anna Capellini and Luca Lenote go to Finlandia, 
with the new team of Federica Bernardi and Chris Moyer, as does Valentina Marquet and Parkinson and Paolo Bacchini. While the Cup of Nice will have both the Italian pairs and three Italian ladies, Galizzi, Rio, and Radighiero, with Alessandria and Vittori, and Charlene Guinard and Marco Fabri. Marquet goes alone to Graz, accompanied only by Bernardi and Moyer. Guignard and Fabri go completely alone to the NRW Ice Trophy, while the same event for singles and pairs later will be attended by Galizzi, Rio, Radighiero, Contesti, Facchini, and Gillespie and Demate. Rio and Parkinson go to the Crystal Skate in Brazov, Galizzi, Parkinson, and Bikini to the Murano Cup, and finally, Marquet and Guignard and Fabri go to the Golden Spin of Zagreb. One piece of relieving news, Caitlin Weaver and Andrew Poget aren't sharing music with the world champions after all. Perhaps in response to the rumor that they also were skating to La Strada, they've announced they're instead skating to Lara Fabian's version of Je suis malade. Music news also came out of Japan via skating camp held there this week. Kanako Murakami there debuted her new long, choreographed by Marina Zueva to Mendelssohn's Violin Concerto. Nobunari Oda was there and described both his two new programs as being two swinging, jazzy tunes. They were done in early June, and he's now back on the ice following knee surgery, working more on spins than jumps right now as he trains very carefully to avoid further injury. Kazuka, on the other hand, was there only briefly before flying to the U.S. Tuesday to get his programs finished. Yuzuru Hanyu, Akika Suzuki, and Haruka Mai were the other attendees. Daisuke Takahashi was not there because he is still recovering from surgery, but the bigger story was Mao Asada wasn't there either. She's no new physical injury, but apparently managed to work herself into exhaustion from stress due to the earthquake and needs to rest for her health. Also gathering their skaters together starting this week was Russia, abandoning the original plan to go around to everyone's rink for test skates. They skate their shorts one day, their longs the next, with judges and tech specialists evaluating who can ask to see individual elements over. This week in Nova Gortz, it was junior pairs. Next week is junior singles, followed by ice dance, then senior pairs, ice dance, and singles in that order. This goes up to mid-September, when there will be an open skate in Odin Sovo for those wishing to make the national team. Nikolai Morozov's skaters, however, will all be tested next week, since after that they're flying to New Jersey. Though two more junior pairs got out of this week's skate because they're in Italy, including Ekaterina Kruchkin and Vladimir Morozov, one of the three pairs assigned to Latvia. Eight pairs showed up, including the other two, Petty Kika and Kurnikov, who didn't have the best elements, and Tatiana Tubaseva and Sergei Lysiev, where she gave the impression of being probably too young and too talented for him. In the U.S., there ha may have been no test skates, but a good number of single skaters gathered anyway in Anaheim for the Glacier Fall Summer Classic. The short program, in the men's, saw Max Aaron land a quad, if less than prettily, then break 70, even with a step out on his axle, a full 14 points ahead of Joshua Ferris in second place. Ferris's quad attempt was less than clean, while Douglas Rosano finished slightly behind him, with a clean triple axle, but only a triple-double combination. But in the long, Aaron stepped out of the quad, which would have been okay, except then he popped both his axles, tried the jump again and fell on it, and dropped a third. Ferris had a nasty fall and dropped down to fifth, but Jason Brown, though held down a bit by an unfortunate double foot in the short, rose to the occasion in the free and showed his ability to land the triple axle to finish second, while Rosano edged him out to win both free skate and overall. In the ladies, Ashley Wagner might not have even known where Glacier Falls was a month ago and might have been lacking her new costumes and just wanting to get her first competition with Mr. Nick Stun, but after a month of crawling into bed each night, as she said in the video she posted earlier this week, she skated sharp and well, and even with some mistakes in the free, emerged the winner. Mariah Nagasu, on the other hand, ran into some trouble with the technical panel. Her short is indeed that tango she skated in Sun Valley and ends by her blowing a kiss. But she called it not bad, not great, and had a pair of jumps downgraded to finish second in the short. And the same problem in the free dragged her down to fourth. Courtney Hicks finished third in both segments. In the short, she did suffer a popped axle, but in the free, that didn't stop her from showing her ambition drawing both a quad selco and a triple flip triple loop. The former wasn't pretty at all, and both it and the loop got downgraded. She ended up in third behind Leia Kaise, who skated a beautiful free, complete with a triple triple, and in fact beat Wagner in the segment by point twenty four. Caroline Zhang, who finished in fifth, was also interviewed this week. She talks about changing her jump technique and how she spent the last season having trouble getting used to it. Now is focused on consistency and will keep doing her pearl spin, but no new elements this season. She needs to get her current ones consistent again. 
She will also be taking a year off from school in order to focus on her skating. Behind her in sixth, Vanessa Lamb had a nasty fall in the short and a disturbing presentation score drop in the long, though at least she's still been given the chance to do better in Brisbane. In the juniors, Nathan Chen blasted the field yet again, while poor Philip Warren, selected for Brisbane, finished way behind in third. And while Latvia selectee Katerina Kulgeko finished second in the ladies, Gracie Gold, who unlike Chen actually is old enough for the Junior Grand Prix, showed she really should be going there by beating her by nearly 35 points. Multiple users have uploaded multiple videos to YouTube, including an exhibition of their new That's Entertainment short by Mary Beth Marley and Rockney Brewbreaker, who were the only senior pair entered. Most notably users UMBS Go Blue and Farina One. Up in Canada, in advance of the competition coming up next week, Thornhill saw the Scarborough Figure Skating Club present a show, So You Think You Can Judge. And various skaters showed up to be judged and given feedback from the audience who were given space for it in their programs. They included Karis Ralph and Asher Hill skating an apparently difficult short dance and the tango from Waking Life for their free dance, which has been uploaded to YouTube by PJ Kwong on her account, PJ Kwong Ward Broker, that, as last week showed, still needs to be worked on while Piper Gillis and Paul Poyer proved to be some advertised mystery performers, doing a short dance to Alice Yaki's Put In A Love Song, and got some good reviews from the audience. Carol Lane said of the latter, I think for three weeks they're doing very nicely, and in three years I'll tell you some more. She also spoke about Ralph and Hill, and they also were interviewed. All three talked about reinventing themselves, and the theme of their free dance, according to Ralph, one that hasn't yet been fully explored. It is about finding my perfect guy, and when the music changes, I have him. Other new pairs, Rachel Kirkland and Chris Lettner, and Elena Tadara and Arseny Markov, who earned uh, Minto last week only because of paperwork issues, also got good notices. In Barrie, Ontario, the Mariposa Charity Skating Gala also saw some competitive program debuts, including Thomas Ferner's debut of his Techno 04 Tuna Short Program, and Alexandra Paul Mitchell Islam skating to Elton John's Tonight, which looked like it may be their new free dance. Though the show might have been stolen by Chris Maybe, even if he tweeted afterwards that he had to get used to skating on big ice again. Proceeds this year go to Rotary House at the new Simcoe Muskeka Regional Sa Cancer Center, which will provide lodging for patients and families living far from the treatment center. Down south, in Worcester, Ohio, Parker Pennington held his show, Skate Dance Dream, in which he and a number of younger skaters were joined by alumni from So You Think You Can Dance, and by Richard Dornbush, Lincoln Cryrett, and Logan Delaney Schmidt, and Shannon Wingle and Timothy McKernan. And over in Korea, in Goyang, there was a two-night show, World Dream Skaters, to celebrate winning the 2018 Olympics, but they weren't able to get Yuna. So the top skaters were all foreigners, including Tatiana and Bolsojar and Maxime Trankov skating to Aimé for the French musical version of Romeo and Juliet, and Adelina Sotnikova skating to Swan Lake. The young Si Young Park blew over right after the test skate, and she also performed. Also looking towards the future, in the distance. The USFSA announced this week the location of the regional and sectional qualifying competitions for 2013 nationals. The first weekend in October, Eastern Great Lakes Regionals is in Ann Arbor, North Atlantic's is in Havensack, and Northwest Pacific in Eugene, Oregon. A week later, New England Regionals is in Warwick, Rhode Island, Southwest Pacific Regionals in Peoria, Arizona, and Upper Great Lakes in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And a week after that, Central Pacific Regionals is in Murray, Utah, South Atlantic's in Wake Forest, North Carolina, and South Western's in Centennial, Colorado. Sectionals are November 9th through 13th in Hyannis, Massachusetts, Strong Hill, Ohio, and Provo, Utah. And in matters of change, Junior Nationals is to be phased out. Juvenile and Intermediates will compete with the other levels at the Big Nationals starting that year. According to Hungarian news, sadly, Nora Hoffman and Maxim Zavozin are indeed done. He's into coaching full-time. Elsewhere in European media, Italian skating magazine Dopio Axel confirms Caitlin Yankowskis' tryout with Matteo Gariz, adding that he split from Kayla Flum because she's got a knee injury, which will keep her off the ice for months. We don't know how that went, though. Towards the end of the week, Peter Liebers posted on his website that he is now rehabbing on the ice, though going very slowly, not doing much on it yet besides basic skating. He describes himself as optimistic, and for one last win of the week, Meryl Davis and Charlie White have won the Michelle Kwan Trophy, becoming only the second pair of ice dancers to take Skating Magazine's Reader's Choice Award after Tanith and Ben. And that is This Week in Figure Skating. Good night.